The memories and images of the trafficked millions remain largely unknown. Yet one artist is working to bring that forgotten history to light with a project that remembers the ancestors while paying homage to their descendants. Call me. I love Mr. Jackson. Huh. Sam, man. No oh, great. So let's look at what you got. OK. Are these just normally out like this? Yeah. Wow. It's concrete, actually. And so far, I like our people, very mm -hmm. resilient. <laughs> All right. Each person, each sculpture has a story. So this is a story of the people who are on those ships. Yeah. So right ahead, this is the enslaved African section. In total, I'm hoping to have 11,111 figures. How many are here now? Uh, currently, we have about close to 1,500. Wow. Traditionally, in uh, African art and African region, the head represents everything, your soul, your being. It has your eyes. And we can have the, all the expressions. Okay. And the, it is considered the seat of your soul. Mm -hmm. So in the faces, you can see the identity. You can see that these people were actually living beings, and you can relate to them. Mm -hmm. And it's that that I'm trying to capture. So who are these faces? Well, these are faces of actual people that I meet, that I find interesting. People that I'm, I'm hoping look like their ancestors who were captured, uh, enslaved mm -hmm. from the motherland, from Africa. I'm trying to have as many faces as possible. Hopefully you can see your uncle in there, you can see your kid brother, and then you can also see your mother. Yeah, it's crazy because I can just look in just one section right here and I can identify people that I know. It's painful because it's about these people that have become insignificant over the years. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly why I'm doing this, trying to get a piece of all of these people back. 